stupid. Dad? What do you need? You're not my dad. I'm still dead. Wow. Okay. Well, this is embarrassing. I don't know how to tie a tie. Can you help me with that? Yeah, I'll give you a hand. In fact, show you three ways to do it. I only need to know shh, one. Shh, shh, shh. Stop right there. Hey, I'm Levi Peters and this is Demetrius Levi. Let's just get into the video. There's a big irony in man's world. We pride ourselves in knowing how to do things, how to fix things, how much we know. But most of us don't even know how to tie a tie. Which is really embarrassing considering that all of us have worn ties before. But not all of us can just go up to dad and ask him to do it for us. And I mean, we're men, we should be doing this ourselves, come on. And even more so, we're stylish men. So we really have to go and nail this down. We must. Also for us style guys, one knot may not be suited for all occasions. So today, I'm gonna teach the three essential tie knots that every guy should know. Let's start with the most simple and basic and probably the knot that we've all done. The four, oh my, the four in hand. The four in hand is the easiest knot. And if anything, this is the one tie knot that you should know. It's also called the schoolboy knot because that's what they taught all those preppy lads back in the day. It's also a good knot if you have a thicker tie like a knitted tie for example because the knot is very small. You want to make the wide end of the tie about a foot longer than the thinner end of the tie. This is something you might have to adjust and do a few times before you get the ideal length. So starting with the wide end of the tie on the right side and the thin end on the left side, Take the wide end that's on your right side and cross it over the top of the skinny end. So now the wide end is on the left side. Okay, follow me? So bring the wide end around the back. So bring it around town. Bring it around town. And then back to the front. Now put it behind and up the back down through the knot which we just made. And boom, there you go. The knot is asymmetrical, so don't think that if it's not perfect that it's wrong. This is how it looks. This is a good knot for button down collars, and this is the one I always use for them. Oh, God. oh mother. The second knot is this one right here, the half Windsor. It's a good one because it's right in the middle. It's not too big, it's not too skinny, and it's pretty even, it's pretty symmetrical. I don't know any of the history behind it, so let's just cut the crab and get started. The skinny part of your tie should end right near the belly button. Then you wanna repeat the two steps of the foreign hand, but instead of bringing it around town, you wanna go up and over the neck loop. See the knot forming? <laughs> oh yeah! Bring it up from behind and then through the front. Now pinch the bottom of the knot and use the small end and pull it, sliding the knot up and BAM! You got it, son. Good for you. Now for the third knot, the full Nelson, the full Windsor. Okay, this is the big daddy knot. This one can be pretty chunky, but it's really good for more widespread collars like cutaways. I don't use this one often because I really don't care for real big tie knots, but that's just me. That's all personal opinion. Okay, so same as before, the wide end on the right and you're gonna put the skinny end on your left. We're gonna put the wide end over the small end, but then we're gonna bring it up from behind and back down the same size. So we just put the left side in a chokehold. Now we're going to attack from behind the right side and put the right bastard into a chokehold. I hate you! We're gonna go across the front and boom, we got a loop. We're gonna go up from behind and down through the knot. Slide that bad boy up and bang! We got it. We got a full Windsor. So there you are. Three essential tie knots that every man should know. No more asking dad to do the work for you. We got this. But here's some extra tips for y'all. For some extra style points, you might want a good tie dimper, yeah? So to make that perfect dimper, before you pull the tie knot up, get your index finger and put it in the more loose tie knot and then pinch it. Hold the knot with your free hand and pull the tie through until it's nice and tight. Also, you want the end of your tie right around your waistband. Not too short, not too long. Though, if you do have more high-waisted trousers like Gurkha trousers, you can actually tuck the tie into it. I've seen this done a lot in Italy and personally, I dig it. So yeah, I think that's enough for you to get by. You got that? Oh yeah, and now I can do it all by myself. There we go, good boy. 
<laughs> this is part of my style beginner course. Click right here to see the rest of it. Also, destroy that like button if you enjoyed today's entertainment and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It also helps if you hit that bell notification. Wait, before I go, I need to ask you, what's your favorite tie knot? Mine's personally the four in hand. That's the one I usually use the most and I like, but I wanna know yours because as you all know, this is a group thing. We're in this together. All right, I'll see you guys next week. All right, that's a nice short one. Now, thank God it is cool out because I always sweat like a pig. Do pigs sweat? Well, duh. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, it's Betty. It's Betty. Oh, hi, did you have a good trip? Yes. No oh, Betty. You son of a piece of garbage.